Hi, I'm Owen with More Wine Pro, and I'm super excited today to walk you through our new Distimmer Crusher with automatic sorting table from Eno Italia in Italy. This is a system I've been working on for approximately three years with the guys from Eno Italia. And it was based on the fact that 10 years ago when I had a winery on crush day, I, I had a system from France and it was very similar to this size. Distimmer dropped down to a vibrating sorting table and then went to an elliptical pump that put it into the fermenters. And one of the problems I always had was getting the four people that I needed on crush day to run the sorting table. If you're like me, you're looking for volunteers, uh, trying not to, to pay people. And it gets hard to organize that, or even if you have workers, it, there's a cost to having them sit at the sorting table. So this does automatic sorting. It's also really compact. And that was one of the other problems is every time we wanted to crush, we were setting up and then putting this away. This one uh, can roll in and out a whole lot easier and store, take up less space in your winery. So let's take a walk through and kind of see how it works. So this works like a lot of distimmers in this size range. This is the Jolly 60 reverse distimmer from Unitalia on top here. There's going to be a motor control here for the auger in the receiving bin so you can control the speed of how fast the grapes are going into the stimming chamber. This is critical so that you don't overload the machine. Uh, you don't get that where everything slows down and you can also find the right consistent feed that gives you the best results you're gonna be able to control the speed of the distimming chamber separately very, via variable frequency drive. And then you're gonna be able to control the speed of the sorting table itself. So there's a lot of control in the system to speed up or slow down based on what types of grapes you're processing and how fast you wanna go. So in this process, the grapes go into the receiving hopper, they get pushed into the distimming chamber the stems get shot out the end while the grapes and maybe a little bit of uh, small stems and leaves fall onto the sorting table. And that's really what we're trying to sort out uh, along with oxidized juice. So as they drop down onto this sorting table, it's really narrow gaps. And the first thing that happens is the oxidized juice and little bits of stems are going to fall down into a tray that separates out so it's not dropping into your fermenter. Then the grapes hit into the sorting where there's a larger gaps and the grapes start to fall through. They're going to fall into your directly into the macro bin while all the leaves and any kind of stems that made it through the stimming chamber get pushed out. And then those drop out at the same spot where the stems from your stimming chamber are dropping here. So you can put a separate macro bin or you could put another garbage can here or just let it pile up on the ground and, and deal with it as you might. Uh, but that's really handy because everything is dropping out into the same bin um, for uh, stems and leaves. So the next thing that happens is the grapes are going to be dropping down into the macro bin. And we know a lot of small uh, kind of uh, small nano winemakers, 500 to a couple thousand cases, like to ferment in macro bins. So we made it. Uh, so a macro bin would fit underneath it. You can come in with your fork uh, lift and just pull it out and move it where you want to. The other thing you can do is you can slide in one of our elliptical uh, receiving hoppers. All the grapes fall down into the receiving hopper and they get pumped out through a, a three or four inch tube into your fermenter. So this is the receiving hopper for the Jolly 60 Reverse. It, if you're feeding it with small bins, this works to hand feed it. There's also larger hopper extensions that we sell so that you can feed it either with an automated machine or even with a bin dumper if you can dump slowly enough to feed it into it consistently. All right, so this is the distimming chamber in the Jolly 60 Reverse. The first thing you're gonna notice is the wiper blade. This keeps the interior chamber clean and just pushes everything out. Uh, the second thing you're gonna notice is these kind of finished um, circular distimming basket, as it's called. This is an average size that's going to fit 90% of all grapes. There may be a situation if you're running a really small berry or a really large berry where we might have to special order a chamber, which is possible. And lastly, you're going to notice the fingers on the inside. All right, so now we're looking inside at this stemming bar, and you can see these flexible rubber paddle tips that allow for a gentle separation of stem and grape. They are adjustable, and while we don't recommend that you adjust them without really having a very specific reason to do so, they are adjustable, 
and on further consultation, uh, they, they could be adjusted for your specific application. Okay, this is the control panel for the Jolly 60 Reverse. This actually controls the destimming speed and it's set with a variable frequency drive which allows you to dial in the speed that you want it to run at. This is really important to be able to have flexibility uh, on the speed of that destimming bar and adjust it for the type of grapes that you're processing. Um, sometimes you're going to find that you need to, to slow it down or speed it up depending on the types of grapes that you're processing. All right, this is the automatic uh, sorting table that comes with the Jolly 60 Reverse. And you can see here really narrow gaps. This is where any oxidized juice that's coming through from your bins is going to fall through this and get separated out so that it's not going into your fermentation tank or into the receiving hopper of your elliptical pump. Then we have a larger gap here. This is where the individual berries are going to be dropping through while any leaves and stems get shot out into your, your garbage bin. The gap here on the second set of rollers is adjustable by the two different plates that you put in. So you can adjust that gap depending upon what size berry that you have processing that day. Really easy changeover. So we have the Jolly 60 Reverse with automating sorting table set up with a macro bin today. That's a really, has been a common request for many people, but sometimes it might make more sense for your winery to use one of our elliptical receiving pumps that catches all the grapes and pushes them out to your fermenter. And in that case, the whole sorting table moves back and forth on a roller system so that you can precisely kind of set that space between where the grapes are, are dropping onto the sorting table and how the oxidized juice is coming out and where the grapes are dropping through either into the bin or into that receiving hopper. Okay, on the bottom here of the receiving hopper in the Jolly 60, you're gonna see a connection for removing oxidized juice. So this is the first part in the system where oxidized juice comes out of the system and not into your fermenters. You connect a tube onto this fitting, run it out into a bucket uh, or a garbage can. The second way that oxidized juice is removed is in the sorting process, there's a tray here. So the first part where the grapes are hitting, the oxidized juice are coming down into the stainless tray and that will come out also via a tube into a, a bucket and be collected um, separately. All right, uh, these are the adjustable legs that come on the Jolly 60 Reverse. So there's about eight positions here where you can set this unit at different heights, which allows you to use the macro bin or you could use one of our elliptical pumps with receiving hoppers and you can move the whole unit up or down. All right, now we're gonna take out the distimming bar out of the Jolly 60 Reverse for cleaning. We're gonna unlatch this back cover, lift up the unit. It's important that we lift it all the way up so that the shocks engage and it stays open. Then we're gonna slide out this distimming bar, comes out of the receiving receptacle on the other end, and then you can rinse all this out as well. You can rinse the basket out. Then to stick it back in, we insert it into here, line it up, on the other end by pushing down on this side because we want that side to go in parallel. Slide it back into the machine. We line up the distimming bar and then we are gonna close the hatch and we're gonna line these two pins in with the slot here in this receptacle. And then we're gonna push this into place. And lock the hatch. All right, so that's the Jolly 60 Reverse. We're pretty excited about this machine. If you want more information, we do have more online. And if you'd like to talk to somebody about this unit, go ahead and put in a, a contact to customer service and they're gonna connect you with one of our More Wine Pro equipment specialists who will give you a call back and discuss the equipment in more detail. <laughs>